Ang kwetsyo. Ang dumda, pagka pang to, kacam na ka nito, iti saam na ka. Mun ng pral, iti ka jun te. Kacam na ta pinya ang trachit, ang dumda. Sobrach le, dumda som, dumda pa piki, ka pi prik meng. Ang dumda, ane nyat, tam dumda som, dumda pa piki, ka pi kaday luk nun chi, le ban sana som, kum not ka pri chai saam na ka, som rap yu bal chalai top, te nung, เตลือการบังหายไอกระซากันลือได้เตลือกำหนดเพื่อสำนักการในไงปุ๊บที่มาพยมวนไข่เมษาได้พอดูเตลือไงรัวที่สามสับไข่เมษาวิ่งให้อองจมเรศสมบัติเจ้าท้าปีบุรีได้บานใบใจเอาเพื่อกี้เตลือบานเรศสาตุกดอดได้องจมเรศหนึ่งมันบันไทยปีบุรีตามสำนักสมรบเพื่อกี้นามวยเลยให้เพื่อกี้ถึงอ๋อหนึ่งเมียนออกกะนองกาเพื่อการฉลอยตบขนมลงปิ้นสามนาคาบัดบรรจบกิจพิพิษาดังดาวเดียเปขังมุกปฏิบัติต่อตอนนี้เอาเงี้ยดอยวิทยาชุนตือดำนางทราบในยาอันตรายที่บรรทอกระดับบางไฮไอกระซากันลึกระบักลุ่น Thank you, Mr. President. I'm now going to um, present a few documents that relate to people who were arrested um, for complaining about the lack of sufficient food, for stealing food to eat, or for complaining about difficult work conditions in Tramcock. Krang Chan Notebook. E3-4095, E3-4095, <coughs> ERN Khmer 00-271-123, French 00-721-260-261, English 00-747-287. Records uh, the presence of a 60-year-old man named Young Kai. He had eight children, born in Trapping Tom Chung Commune. And he had been arrested and sent to Krang Chan because he said he sympathized with the previous regime and I quote, he said the following, quote, for daily food, it's like we're slaves. We eat only porridge once a day, even without prahok and salt. We have no strength to work, end of quote. And the prison notebook, Your Honours, also records how this 60-year-old man was interrogated with hot methods to dig up his network, but he refused to confess. E3-2447, E3-2447, at Khmer 00-270-733-34, English 00-355-474, French 00-632-162. Report from Lebo Commune dated the 4th of September 1977, identifying a youth who complained about not having sufficient food. This youth is reported as saying, quote, he had neither sufficient rice nor cassava to eat. He complained that in the old society, one could eat whenever you wanted, but now it is impossible to eat anything. It also was reported that he said, quote, at present he does not want to be alive, it is better to die. And this report 
from Le Beau Commune concludes, P.S. This person is a Yuan. And at the end of this report, there is a handwritten annotation from District Chief Kit, written two days later on the 6th of September, in which Kit instructs Crank, crank the John Prison Chief on, on to conduct a thorough interrogation of the youth because, I quote, he is an organized string of the CIA, end of quote. E3, 2453. Next document is E3 slash 2453. 53, Khmer ERN 00270 through 781. English 00388583. French 00611773. This is a report from Nang Nang Commune to the District Party dated the 6th of October 1977 and it reports four women, two of whom were wives of soldiers, one whose husband was in Yun territory and the other whose husband had been smashed. The reason these four women were reported is because they said the following, quote, all four of them said, just bragging and announcing that socialism is plentiful, lacking in nothing, it is very plentiful, not a thing to eat can be seen, eating gruel morning and evening. What kind of revolution is this thing of theirs? Nothing can be found to eat. It's not like it was in the old society. The old society was very happy. If you wanted to eat noodles or eat bread, there was plenty. It was not like this so-called revolution of theirs. They also said that the old society was happy. There were plays, and movies and Chinese shows to go watch. It was not quiet like this revolution of theirs." End of quote. And your honors, uh, briefly, Krang Tachan notebook E3-4083, E3-4083 at Khmer. 00068036, English, 00323976, French, 00778877. The, this is a list of 29 prisoners, and number 28 on that list is a person who was arrested and sent to Krang Tachan because he complained about having to eat thin porridge. Your Honours, the next group of documents I would like to present concerns people who were arrested for trying to escape or flee their cooperative or work unit, people who tried to escape from democratic Kampuchea and make it across the border to Thailand or Vietnam, and people who moved around too freely. Krang Tachan Prisoner List Notebook E3-4083 uh, at the same year-end pages I just mentioned, Khmer 000 68036, English 00323973. French 
is the same list of 29 prisoners. The first 20 of those 29 prisoners are described as a network of 20 traitors whose offense consisted of, I quote, planning to escape to Yun, Vietnam, and Siem, Thailand. In Krang Tachan Notebook E3, slash 4095 E3 slash 4095 URN Khmer 00271095 French 00721215 through 216. English 00745245 through 246. These notes identify a prisoner, Nhet and state as follows. Quote, First mistake, he was too free leaving his unit for his elder relative's house in Popol. Second mistake, he was too free visiting the house of his wife's relative. Third mistake, he walked too freely once again, contrary to the discipline, then fled as he dared not return to his unit. Next is E3 slash 2451. E3 slash 2451 at Khmer 00271005 through 06. English 00322172. French 00612. This is a 6 October 1977 report from District 105 Chief Kit to the beloved party. Kit is requesting a decision on a female combatant who has been tempor temporarily detained for walking around without authorization and engaging in unspecified, inappropriate behavior towards the Commune Committee. Kip's report received the following handwritten response from Sector 13 Secretary Kroc. Quote, this female comrade must be an enemy. It is requested to interrogate her immediately in order to find out her network. It is requested to the police to conduct an intense interrogation. Your Honors, next E3 slash 4164, E3 slash 4164, a document I've mentioned earlier today, a Krang Tachan prisoner list titled Brief Biographies of Prisoners. Uh, this is the list that has a column in which the alleged offense of the prisoner is stated. And for the first prisoner on this list, this is the entire reason that is stated as to why he was imprisoned at Krang Tachan. Quote, this person was free-spirited and overjoyed, failing to respect organizational discipline. End of quote. And a Krang the Chang execution list reflects that people were executed for minor offenses like this. E3 slash 4145. E3 4145. ERN's Khmer 000 English 00762845 through 46. French 00761101 through 102. 
This is uh, a partial part of a list of 37 prisoners, including various information on them. An annotation on this list, that is, the annotation is dated the 22nd of May 1977, states, a total of 37 people, both young and old, whose names contained in this list have been purged. Your Honours, number 35 on this execution list is a prisoner named, named Chun a 37-year-old from Triang District. This person had been reported to Angkar on the 5th of May 1977, about two weeks before his execution. And we see that report in document E3-2048, E3-2048, Khmer, 00079095, English 00276566 through 567, French 00611664. And that report on the 5th of May 1977 stated that Kim Chun was a former merchant, the owner of a rice mill, who had left Pommel Popol commune to travel to see his grandmother without a travel letter, and had been arrested by the Labo sub-district militia. And as I mentioned, Prisoner list E3-4145 records that this person, Kim Chun, was executed at Prang Tachan two weeks later on the 22nd of May 1977, two weeks after he was arrested for traveling without an authorization letter. Another Prang Tachan prisoner executed uh, on the 22nd of May 1977, recorded in this list, uh, this is number 33 on that execution list, E3-4145, was a 29-year-old named Tach Vana. In your honors, Mr. Tach Vana was one of the Khmer Krom who were included in the list of Kampuchea Krom people from Trapyang Krom Chung Commune dated the 4th of May 1977 that my colleague presented to you earlier today, which is document E3 slash 2281. Tach Vana was number 44 on that list of 73 Khmer Krom families from Trapping Tom Chum, where he's identified as a 29-year-old former motor trailer worker. A little more than two weeks after he appeared on this Khmer Krom, list of Khmer Krom, he was executed at Prang Tachan. The next subject the chamber has already uh, extensively seen the 1978 letter from District Chairman Tassan conveying instructions to execute young children along with their mothers. Uh, so let me now, I will not go back to that, but I would like to now present just a couple of examples of additional documents reflecting the arrest and imprisonment uh, of both the very young and the very elderly in Tramgok District. D-157.36, D-157.36 contains two reports from Angroka Prison Chief Meng to Angkor, dated the 23rd and 24th of March 1977, regarding the arrest, interrogation, and confession of a 10-year-old boy named Ra. The alleged offense of this 10-year-old was being part of a group that tried to flee. 
And in response to the reports from Meng on the 28th of March 1977, then District Chief Kit directed Krang Tachan Chief On to interrogate the spy in detail. In Krang Tachan Notebook E3-4095 at Khmer 00271129, French 00721268, English 00747295. That notebook records the interrogation of a 13-year-old prisoner, Kok, Kok Leng, whose parents had died and who had been arrested because he fled in search of his siblings. Krang Tachan notebook E3-2107 at Khmer 00068053, English 00290211, French 00655730, records the detention and interrogation of a 13-year-old boy named Nyet Net, the son of a law knoll colonel who was arrested for stealing coconuts and melons to eat. And in a Krang Tachan prisoner list in notebook E3-4083 at Khmer 0006-68036, English 00323976, French 00778877, prisoner number 29 on that list was a 73-year-old man named Sung Ra, who was a former village chief from Sre Renong commune accused of stealing food. Let me quickly touch on a few documents relating to the treatment of Buddhists in Tramcock District. Document D157.69, D157.69 is a 31 August 1977 report from Office K105 which was the district military uh, office, to Ankar, reporting Mok the decision to arrest Pram. a man named Pom Hun uh, and to send him to Bang Men's place, Meng's uh, place in Angroka. The reason Pum for his arrest Pum is that he said the following, quote, Ankar says that it demolishes only the capitalists and soldiers. However, at the moment, there is no Buddhism, monks, schools, teachers, or markets. It might be better if Ankar allows Buddhism, monks, schools, and teachers to exist. End of quote. Notebook. E3-4095 at Khmer 00271-131, French 00721-270-271, through English 00747-297-298, identifies two prisoners, Kim Nil and Sun Soret, who had been arrested and sent to Krang Tachan for joining the Khmer Sar Party for Religious Liberation. And in a reference from Meng Tri E's book, The Chain of Terror, E3-2120, reference that is at uh, English ERN 00416409 in footnote 281. Uh, at this spot of his book, Meng Tri E 
references an interview he did with a younger sister of Tamak. That younger sister of Tamak told him, quote, some Buddhists believe the destruction of a temple or Buddha image is a sin. Tamak's daughter, Kom, went insane because she ordered the destruction of a temple and one of its Buddha images, end of quote. Now going to change, turn to um, my final subject, which deals with authority, procedures for arrests, interrogations, and executions. And in Henri Lucard's report on Tramcock District, Section 4 of that report, this is Document D, uh, document presented earlier by my colleague, D313-1.2.16, year-end references Khmer 00739070. English 00217718 and French 00743775 through 76. Henri Lucard wrote the following. Quote, what is certain is that the theory of revenge killings against the new people is documented neither by the archival material nor by the numerous witnesses. Killings in democratic Kampuchea were centrally planned and entire, the entire Khmer Rouge bureaucracy being involved in the purification of Khmer society. As in similar regimes, the Nazi or the Stalinist varieties. Bureaucrats and executioners had completely surrendered their free will to the party. They considered they were merely obeying orders and therefore could not be held responsible. Local cadres were essentially collecting information and exchanging it, making arrests, interrogating, sending on captives. The accused was submitted to first an interrogation session or sessions locally, after which these reports were written, then he was sent to the upper echelon." End of quote. And your honors, uh, I would now like to play a couple of clips from a video that is in evidence called Deacon of Death. It is video E3 slash 3126R, E3 slash 3126R. This uh, film uh, portrays uh, the search uh, for a Khmer Rouge perpetrator named Arobi by a female new person, Sok Chia, uh, who had lived in Tapem Commune Trampak district during the Khmer Rouge regime and whose family members had been killed there. The perpetrator that she looks for in this film, Karobi, uh, was the security chief of Tapem Commune has been identified by a number of uh, interviews in the case file, including uh, a deceased witness, Sok Sim, who was uh, a member of the Tapem Commune Committee, reference E3 slash 55, E3 slash 5519 at answer 5. Um, Kurobi has also been identified by uh, Kao Chandera, a trial witness uh, as one of the cadres who arrested him. And in the first clip that I would like to play, and for the AV booth, it is the clip that is number two. Uh, this clip is from uh, 48 minutes and 12 seconds through to 49 minutes and 12 seconds of the video. Uh, in this part of the film, Sok uh, Chia uh, comes to Wat Champa, a site in Tapem that we have heard testimony about in this trial. 
and describes what she observed there during the Khmer Rouge regime, and you also see Wat Champa. So if the video booth could please play uh, clip number two. ตาเป๊ะខ្ញុំរត់ឡើងលេងមកនេះអូយអូយអូយអូយអូយអូយអូយអូយអូយអូយអូយអូយអូយអូយអូយអូយអូយអូយអូយអូយអូយអូយអូ
ุกจีเลือกล้างเหมือนเหมือนเหมือนมีในถ้าอมเต็มหวานทาเกมีนจังอะอมกระทาวิอาดมีนหรือกระอ่อนอ่าแล้วอาดมีนคือน่ะรถไปยังยังโปรยมอนมาอันนั้นยังไอเดียวเจ้าตาเนี่ยเขาเต้ยมันเจ้าตาเนี่ยเพื่อเต้ยตาสุดดาวไปจับบ้านยกนใจตาเนี่ยเธอเป็นอาจมีนหรือเปล่าเราเราอาจอะไรมันดังกันลองเอาเมันนุ่ดังกันเอาอยู่มวยคนนี้เราคิดใจด้านนั่งกันเธอไอ้คลาปะพอลโยบอกไอ้คลาย่อมแต่มาชุลมาตามเจมาตามยังมาเห็นปะพอลโยได้มาเห็นมาตรังกลางปีบาทได้ตัวเทได้สู้ไปเชียร์จนได้เคยยิ่งยาวไอ้เธอเมียมีนบุญอ่ะมาเพย์น่ะอากูน่ะคลาอ่ะคลาก็อันนั้นจังสำหรับเมียโดยสอบไงได้เปลี่ยนได้ก็เกลื่อนอ่อนตามยุติธรรมก็เกลี่ยก็มาเท่าก็เมียนหันจากมนุษย์มือมันเทียงตรังไอ้ย้อมจะจามุกอ่อนยังมาสนาย้อมเท่าเปิดบอลเอาไว้ตายห้องเอาให้นั่งเหมือนเหมือนเติมเนาะกลางจับที่มาเผยน้ำโตยังไงนี่มันยังก่อสร้างอ่อตั้งปีกนองเรียมมาตัวนึงไงนี่นั่งยิ้มยิ้มเรียมนัดใส่ตรังยังมองจังมาเกมันตามเธอตามมาตามจัดเกจองซองสักวิ้งปีกทั้งปีกัดสมาโต๊ะกัดกอตาตะเล็กแม่นั่งสมาโต๊ะแต่ไม่เหมาะนี่คือก่อนอ่ะจังมันจังลอยมุ้ยเอาโยกนี่ก็ฉลาดตัวตุ๊กกอลนั่งกุมพกเอาไว้เด็กก็มาทั่วก็จังมันปนังเถอะจังอะไรนี่เคยนะมาสดับเลยกอดกอมันแมนแมนเนี่ยไอ้เรื่องจังทามันโปร่งแต่ตัวเลยมันสะดับมันเจอก่อนจังสมัยจัดไทยเนี่ยอะไรนั่งเห็นสงบแต่เจอเห็นสงบยังบ้านสงบแต่เจอผมกอดบ้านซาลพี่กอดบ้านแถวตาในกระไรนั่งปัดจีบมีนเธอจังแมนปัดจีบมีนสลับจังแมนยังทูได้ยังมันจองกามจองปีไอ้มวยกอดเต้เนี่ยอันนั้นได้กระปิเพียวจานเอาเธอไอ้นองวัดรูปเตี๋ยรามวัดไว้ไปเฮียเจ้าแล้วเขาทากรุบเนี่ยมันกึ่งห้องเจ็ดแล้วทาสงกุมมันอายุเว้ยกึ่งโดยขี้นี้ยูรอนเนอร์สในช่วงเหลือเวลาผมจะแสดงอีกหนึ่งภาพที่ดีที่ดีที่สุดซึ่งจะแสดงการตรวจสอบที่ดีที่สุดซึ่งจะแสดงการตรวจสอบที่ดีที่สุดซึ่งจะแสดงการตรวจสอบที่ดีที่สุดซึ่งจะแสดงการตรวจสอบที่ดีที่สุดซึ่งจะแสดงการตรวจสอบที่ดีที่สุดซึ่งจะแสดงการตรวจสอบที่ดีที่สุดซึ่งจะแสดงการตรวจสอบที่ดีที่สุดซึ่งจะแสดงการตรวจสอบที่ดีที่สุดซึ่งจะแสดงการตรวจสอบที่ดีที่สุดซึ่งจะแสดงการตรวจสอบที่ดีที่สุดซึ่งจะแสดงการตรวจสอบที่ดีที่สุดซึ่งจะแสดงการตรวจสอบที่ดีที่สุดซึ่งจะแสดงการตรวจสอบที่ดีที่สุดซึ่งจะแสดงการตรวจสอบที่ดีที่สุดซึ่งจะแสดงการตรวจสอบที่ดีที่สุดซึ่งจะแสดงการตรวจสอบที่ดีที่สุดซึ่งจะแสดงการตรวจสอบที่ดีที่สุดซึ่งจะแสดงการตรวจสอบที่ดีที่สุดซึ่งจะแสดงการตรวจสอบที่ดีที่สุดซึ่งจะแสดงการตรวจสอบที่ดีที่สุ
23rd May 1976 report from Aung Tassam Commune Chief Chaum to the District Chief regarding First Lieutenant King Hin, who is described in the report as a hooligan soldier with syphilis. The relevant reference from this report is near the very end where Commune Chief Chaum reports the following, quote, We had the militia bring him in for interrogation by using cold methods, and he refused to say anything at all. So I would like to request you to try to question him, because the wife of this person is in the transplanting unit and has instigated verbally that the district Ankar is lenient and the people can go anywhere they want. Document E3 slash 4126, E3 slash 4126 at Khmer 0027093132 English 0036674 French 0063250120 this is a report from Prangtachan Chief on, on, dated the 26th of December 1977, describing the interrogation of a female prisoner. I quote, when our comrade in the army interrogated her, she kept crying and her face became black, which was her pretense. Therefore, according to my examination, only with hot interrogation would she confess. Within the army workplace at Antasam, there are no confidential places to conduct interrogation at ease. Therefore, it is submitted to the party for information. Whatever the party decides, I look forward to executing the decision." End of quote. And report E3-2445, E3-2445, at English 0063-653-6535. Khmer 00270984, French 00612444. This document states in regards to the confession of Mung Sun, a prisoner who had been arrested on the 16th of September 1977, quote, we have conducted some cold and hot methods of interrogation against Mung Sun. He confessed that they had been appointed by Ah Hung since November 1976. End of quote. Your Honors, there are um, also documents. Um, showing how Krang Tachan confessions were used as the basis for further arrests of persons who were implicated in those confessions. Um, I will give you just one quick example, which is E3-2012, E3-2012, at Khmer 0008272655. English 0027659595. And French 0097976855. This is a 11 July 1977 report from Prison Chief An on the confession of prisoner Sin Young. You will find in this uh, one handwritten annotation in the upper left margin which states to be smashed. But also near the bottom of this report, uh, in the body of the report, 
there are the names of two other former law null officers who were identified by the prisoner in his confession, a captain and a first lieutenant. And next to the, those two names, there is another annotation that states to be arrested. And so the process continued. I've used a number of times the documents that show the sector, uh, sector annotations approving executions, um, so I will not cover those documents again. Let me end with uh, some examples of the reporting uh, to the district and reporting from the zone to Phnom Penh. You have seen, I believe already multiple times, the November 1977 monthly report from Krang to Chan, um, which is document E3-2109 at Khmer 00068014. English 00276555, French 00290272. This document reported uh, on the month of November 1977, indicating 75 new prisoners entered, 92 prisoners were purged, Six died of illness, and one was removed to the sector, leaving a total of 85 prisoners at the end of the month. There is another example of a monthly report from Crank to Chan um, that I will mention to you, identify for you now. It is for the month of July 1977 in E3-4085, E3-4085. 4085 and during the month of July, it is reported that 18 new prisoners entered, 39 prisoners were purged, two died from illness, and there remained a total of 40 prisoners at the end of that month. And finally, Your Honors, um, document E3-853, E3-853. 853. This is a report from the Southwest Zone to Ankar, dated the 3rd of June, 1977. This report uh, follows the structure of other zone reports to the center that are in evidence before you, starting with the report on the defense or enemy situation followed by economics, meaning rice production, building of dams and canals, and concluding with a report on the livelihood of the people. The report from the Southwest Zone covers all the sectors and districts in the zone, including the Kao sector, sector 13, and Trampok district. For example, the first section of this report from the Southwest Zone on the defense situation reported on arrests of en enemies and confessions obtained from their interrogations, stating, I quote, according to the confession of the enemies caught in Takao and Kampot province, the enemy set up a network of messengers laying in Kiribon district. Tukmias District, Angershe District, and Damre Mountain. Enemies encouraged moving from one place to another, such as moving from Sector 35 to Sector 13, or vice versa, or moving to mountains. 
So far, we have successfully arrested the enemies who launched activities mentioned above. The June 1977 report from the Southwest Zone to the Center reported on rice transplanting in Lebo commune, as well as plans for digging canals in Tramcock district. And in regards to the living standard and health of the people at the end of this report, the zone reported, quote, nowadays in Kampot, Kampon Spu, and Takao province, the people have got cholera and some people died. Your Honours, um, uh, let me end uh, at that point, um, and uh, I will pass the floor now to the civil parties to continue uh, with their document presentation that completes uh, the key documents from the co-prosecutors on Tramcar. <laughs> Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président, pour cette audience sur les, les documents clés. Nous avons choisi d'être les porte-voix des partis civils qui n'avaient pas eu l'opportunité de déposer devant votre chambre. Et nous avons décidé de privilégier la lecture de cinq extraits de constitutions de partis civils, de partis civils qui ont été admises pour avoir souffert de crimes commis dans les coopératives de Tramcoc. En sus de ces cinq extraits, nous avons également choisi de lire un extrait d'un procès verbal d'audition devant les co-juges d'instruction d'un membre de la commune de Tapem qui fait écho à l'audition et à la déposition de trois parties civiles que vous avez pu entendre lors de ce segment. Nous allons partager notre temps de parole entre mon confrère Hong Kim Soon et moi-même, et je vais laisser la parole à mon confrère pour qu'il commence par la lecture d'extraits de trois constitutions de parties civiles en Khmer, et puis je reprendrai la parole pour lire un certain nombre d'extraits en français. Donc je, je cède la parole à mon confrère Hong Kim Soon. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. We do not object uh, quite yet, but we seek guidance as to, um, I suppose, the nature of this document hearing. Uh, we have understood it uh, to be that we are here to present uh, documents, uh, to highlight documents to the chamber. However, uh, having, a, had a, having had a look at the list of the civil parties, it seems that the majority, the vast majority of documents that we presented are excerpts from civil party applications. Um, I do not see that that, is, that that should be the purpose of a document here. The purpose is um, focusing on preferably contemporaneous documents uh, in order to highlight them in the vast uh, mass of documents that there are at the case file. Um, if you are saying that it is all right for civil parties to highlight excerpts from civil party applications, I would like to hear also from you if it is all right for the, for the defense to highlight certain portions of other uh, statements from witnesses. Um, in other words, uh, are we only here doing this document here to present uh, documents or are we also allowed to refer to excerpts of civil party uh, applications and also um, written records of uh, investigation. Je, je, souhaiterais, je souhaiterais répondre, Monsieur le Président. Il me semble qu'il était euh, clair en voyant la pratique euh, antérieure de la Chambre qu'il nous était permis de présenter des constitutions de parti civil 
Je rappelle à notre confrère que les constitutions de parti civil sont des documents, qu'il s'agit de documents écrits, qui font partie du dossier et que nous avons dès lors pleine latitude pour présenter ces documents lors de cette audience. Nous n'avons à aucun moment reçu la moindre instruction de la Chambre qui pourrait nous laisser penser qu'il n'était désormais plus possible de présenter les documents que nous avons eu l'habitude de présenter lors du dernier procès. Il est absolument fondamental pour nous que nous puissions présenter ces documents. La Chambre a eu l'occasion de se prononcer sur la valeur probante. Ils font partie du dossier, c'est indéniable. Je ne vois dès lors pas quel est le fondement de l'objection soulevée par notre confrère aujourd'hui. Je vous demande simplement, Monsieur le Président, de nous permettre de faire ce que nous avons fait de manière récurrente lors du dernier procès et de présenter les documents qui nous paraissent les plus pertinents pour ce segment. បាទអង្គជំរះអនុញ្ញាតដល់ក្រុមសហបញ្ជាវិញនៅមុខតំណាងដើមនឹងរំនេះបង្ហាញនៅឯកសារដ៏ស្រង់ចេញពីឯកស
ตอบขยมอังกุยแต่ไอ้ขยมสบายจัดหนึ่งเธอปะเดวันหนึ่งกีดามคายเมียทมชนามุยปอนผมบุรุษจัดสมเปิลเกบ้านบอกจับขยมจองเปรียบขยมสมระหกใบเนากันไลน์เธอปลายเมียนใบเนี่ยชั่วโมงต่างงงแบบเทียนภูมิเงี้มประเทียนฉลบนึ่งประเทียนอยู่ประจุนหมกจองสลับเสกบรรดาขยมเต้าดอยเหมือนปรับขยมข้อไอเต้เต้าชงไอปีตีนุเจียงมวยกิโลเนื้อเลือดตัวเมียนสดแต่ดำเชื่อเมียนรดดาวอาบีปุวิทย์แหกขยมอ้อยอังกุยให้จอดสู่ขยมตาไงเพื่อกินลนนรื้อตีปีตาจังกับติดปะดิวัดตีบไงจังวีประหาองค์กาเปรสุขยมนุปุวิบานวีขยมหนึ่งดับบองหรือใสขยมชลายท่าขยมเหมือนบานเพื่อกินเตเวทาขยมทเวสไรติเฮียนเรื่องรูนักเติบวีขยมไทม์ตีดหอยฉลายแต่ขยมมันฉลายปลุกขยมมันบานทเววีบังคำเอาฉลายดาวนิเยธาบ่าฉลายวีหนึ่งดอกเลนแต่ขยมประกายมันปลอมฉลายจำนวนตีปีขยมสู้ตะเวียวิญธากมติปะดิวัดอย่างไม่ขยมมันดังธาไม่เต้ปุเวียจาวขยมทาเปลองกาเอาสมปวดหมกขยมขยมมันเสลี่ยทาขยมยกตะกัดกมติเถื่อขนาอยเถื่อปุขนาดเก่าอแต่ขยมปรับท่าเอาปูตัวมือเต้าขยมเหมือนบานเถื่อโดยเปียกีริกาเต้เงียบนุบานสตูหมกวีตับหนึ่งแทะขยมมือจึงจอมดำตรุ้งดูเต้าเก่าอหมดขยมโหชิมอันดาตรุ่นเนื้อบ่มปงก่อตีใบขยมสัวตะเวงถาวีประหาอังกาอย่างไม่ขยมเหมือนดังเต้เกธาขยมบานในใจปรับเกธาอังกาเหมือนเอาตึกทนาตะจีจนพักเอาไอ้ตายประปนโกนอ่องกาขยมฉลายท่าโนนาได้รู้เนื้อกรอมปะดิวัดหายเฮียนในเย็ดชนะผู้วิทยาขยมเจี๊ยสไรติเฮียนรึงกบาลนะเปรดได้กำปงทวบาปขยมนุเมียนตาเหมือนเนี่ยชมูวงเต้าบอยหลับเปียหมกเถื่อได้บังกีเคยปฏิกิริยานี่ก็เต้าจับวีกอดเต้าโหดดอสลับได้จอดกอดท่าจีเนี่ยเสพกาเปรจมวยนุเมียนโกนเมงอายุจีดับชั่นนำจีกังหมกจูบปุ่วีหายปุ่วเวียนในใจท่าไงสำนางหายได้องค์กาบานดอกเลงกรอนแต่เอาก่อสร้างปลุกรบกำลังจุ่มนู่เหมือนบ้านหายเวียสำลดขยมท่าบาเฮียนตายตลอดตัววิ่งในใจปรับได้โกนหนึ่งเนี่ยดัดตีเอาบัตรจัดเฟอร์ก้า
ยืนหนึ่งสำหรับไงเจ้าเพลียมกลายเป็นนุ่มกเกบัญชีเอาอีกขยมตัวทวีการจีมวยกองประมูลประดมได้เกี่ยวกับประเดตัวสำหรับเอาอีกทวีจีเหลี่ยมมุ่งได้ยกเหลี่ยมมุ่งบกเลี่ยได้ดับบกหนึ่งฮาลอยสูตรกับดักจุงรุกตุกตัวจีมีนคลันซอยอย่างนั้นก็ขยมสกจัดตรอมขามหมดได้บรรทัดมกปีนุมกเกบัญชีอ้อยขยมเทอประหลายตึกเนวชงายปีภูมิโรฮอดดอลเวียดนามหนึ่งกองตัวประนาเซโมกรมดอกปีนุขยมลือเกธาเกเทอนุมบรรจบดัชนัมสำหรับประชาชนดับประปีเมษาแต่ขยมหนึ่งประชาชนมันตอนบานหก